with some new crappie rods, guys. You guys know I hate graphite, right? You think that's graphite? Nope. This is Kevlar. I bought it from uh, Southern Crappie Rods in South Carolina. Some nine footers. Somebody got a new dune buggy for Christmas. That's my Okuma ABF 40. I have an Okuma ABF 20. The rods are not painted, they're just, that's nice. I think he does it to save money. Seems like he does a lot of things to try to save you some money. SCR92C. So it's nine foot long, two piece, and I'm not sure what C is, but obviously you have a graphite uh, real seat. Remember how I was saying in my old Philipson 6.7 weight, how I wish there was a fighting butt? Most crappie rods have such a long fighting butt that I just can't use them handheld as well. But this is about perfect, you know, and I can use it with a fly reel like that. It has a very similar fly reel sort of cork on it. There's, there's that balance point. I've never had a rod that well balanced. You know how long it's been since I actually bought a new fishing rod? <laughs> so let's see how it balances and fits with the uh, Okuma ABF, ABF 20. It's actually pretty good. See the difference in the size reels? Let's see how straight these eyes are. A whole lot straighter than I can get them when I build them, <laughs> I'm telling you. First thing I always like to do with these is get a balance test. And there's the balance point with this ABF 20, see? The balance point with the ABF 40 was like literally right there on the band. Here it's about two inches forward. Came packaged very well. Tough tube, huh? No way that was gonna get crushed. So if you don't know, my favorite rig is a Paternoster rig, or most people call it a Kentucky rig. My triple threat swivel here with my big snap, a slinky weight with just nails in it, you know. And that comes up about 18 inches to a dropper loop that'll have one of my flies and, some, and a worm on it. Another 18 inches goes up, another fly and another worm. And I use this for everything from casting to drifting to trolling to everything. Let's see what the parabolic curve looks like. That's pretty good. It's what I like to see. Essentially, that whole rod is bending and then it gets into some backbone about right here. Yeah, pretty good. But see, I like this because it has the... I don't have to open the bail to strip out line. The thing I like about this is I can take that as a hook keeper, but... That way I can use a drop shot rig and just put it right there. Works perfectly. Oh. It passed the first test. It didn't break in the tree branches, which happens to every graphite rod I ever get. So this is the ABF 40. It's twice the reel, twice the weight. Same feature. Pull that out. Wow, I had to, I had to stop it because it was that thing was about to go down in the pine trees down there. <laughs> See what we can do here. Sidearm. Wow. The rod casts, man. I think that nine foot is my favorite length of rod. It's just close your manual, close your handle manually. All right, so why all this uh, talk about rods and reels all of a sudden? Well, back before Thanksgiving, I had a customer who wanted to try my, uh, my slinky weight materials. And so I sent him out some, and I said, I better do a video to demonstrate how it works. I broke out my old Phillips and 6-7 weight fly rod and started fishing, and I've forgotten how effective it is and how fun it is. Because many of you know I've been fishing with hand lines exclusively this past year. And I've learned so much, and I'm thinking, wow, well, now we can probably take that and put it back to rod and reels. I, I kind of remember what was left to be desired. I kind of wish we had a little bit more real estate back here, and I kind of wish we had four or five inches longer up here. Well, I love fiberglass, which this is it. It's, it's so strong, it's, but the modern graphite rods are just too brittle for me. I found about this guy, Southern Crappie Rods, Kevlar. So we're going from this to this. I'd imagine he imports these like I do many of my fishing goods. And, but I need a light rod that's gonna deal with light line like most crappie rods, but I just don't want graphite. So, uh, and I'm not a crappie fisherman. I fish for anything that bites the hook. This is hashtag not sponsored. This is not sponsored or paid for by Southern Crappie Rods. I bought these with my own money and I'm just telling you what I bought. This is what we're moving towards.
Back in 2014, I switched to Thailand long tail outboards, power generator motors, bolt on and go. I hooked up with the guys at Beaver Dam Mud Runners who import a Thailand long tail by a company called CLP, although mine's a different brand. This is a sponsored ad, so check the disclaimer below. He has some of his own products, he grab bars, he designs himself, so check that out and I will talk to you guys later.